to make a uh, simple login form using PowerPoint. Uh, let us, this is a simple form I've made. I've made form 1, user form 1. I add in there form 1 and I've also added there user form 2. So I've linked them so those two forms are under forms and they can work. To, I have linked them. They're under my VBA project. Okay. So if you run this program now at the moment on form one so that I can run it, uh, this what will pop up. So I if I put the username maybe that's the username, uh, any username and maybe this is the password, it will not run. If I run this is what will give us. It will say you incorrect username or password combination. So it's until when form one uh, if you object so that I can run it for us again. So if you run this, this is this what will happen. Uh, this is a simple login form using uh, PowerPoint. So if I, I run this and I say OSP, which is the correct username, and the password which is OSP12. So if I run that, trust me, the second form will pop us for us on the screen. So that's how guys we're going to be seeing. So let me show you straight away to the codings on how, game, how I came up with this simple login form using PowerPoint. So I'm just going to start up a new project. So open up your PowerPoint. Oh, sorry. Uh, open up your PowerPoint like this. Uh, open up your PowerPoint. Then now I know you also of you guys you don't have this developer tool in your machine. So to get that developer tool, come on files. Then you go to options. Click on options. Then you come down where they say customize ribbon, click on customize ribbon, then here down it is unticked. You'll find it unticked like this. Uh, here. You'll find unticked. So I advise you to tick it, give it a tick, then you come and say okay. And immediately after doing that, you'll see a developer tool or a developer this side. So now you just click on developer. Click on developer, then just come and look for virtual basic. So, or if you don't you want to do all those that I'm trying to do, as long as you've already got this developer tool, just hold the control with 11 with F11 in your machine. Or if not, so just come here and click on virtual basic so that you can go to the environment. And immediately after doing that, please you'll be in the same base, which are all of us which shall have been in the same base. So, in that position, we shall be in a position to add forms. So, uh these are the forms I created. This is the first form I created, and then this is the second form I gave in. The first form, this it is like I, I came in and I picked a label here. This is a label, uh, which I gave it here. This is a label, so a label one. I think you can see. And then I gave another label, which is label two. This is label two. I think you can see from the name. I just changed the name to password and mean username and then password. And this one here, what I've gave is the text box, which is just here. So I gave this one text box, which is text box one, and then this is text box two. And I also gave this one this a command button, which is just here, command button. So I gave this command button, which is actually command button one. So that's just how the interface I gave in. Then up here, I also gave what known as, uh, I gave what known as uh, this thing you are seeing here. That's what known as a frame. So I gave there a frame, which frame you are seeing here. Now that frame, I just put that frame there to, 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 to support my my project. But though you can leave it without giving a frame, you can just do the project without a frame. Though if you put a frame, it's also classic and looks nice. So that's how the end of the user form 1 was given in. So this is a form 2, which I later brought it in. So this is user form 2. You just go and insert another form. Just go and, go and say insert user form. So after doing that, definitely form 2, it will pop up for you on the screen. And after doing so, the second form that will pop up for you on the screen 
we shall link them in form 1. So there's not much coding I made in form 2, instead I made coding in form 1. So if you click on this form 1, this is what is in form 1. Form 1 is, I just have to, uh, this text box 1 and the text box 2 is the one we have to put our codings in the login. So I had to write, I have to double click on the login, if double click on the login, these are the codes I gave in the login form. I said if text box 1 dot text is equal to OSP and text box 2 dot text is equal to OSP 1 2. Now OSP at uh, this case is the username and then OSP 1 2 is the password. I said if the text box 1 dot text equals OSP and text box 2 equals dot text equals to OSP, to OSP 1 2. If that's the point, if this text, if this, if, if person comes and puts a uh, username as OSP and puts the password as OSP 1 2, then user form 2 will pop up on the screen we will see user form 2 else if at all uh, he has not given that answer of text box uh, what I verified there was OSP for the username and 1 2 3 for OSP 1 2 for the password then we expect else condition to be executed which I expect actually incorrect username or password combination so that's how the guys out is so in a simple term you can see you will see that uh, if you try to see, I didn't put form 2 anywhere. Instead, I just put form 2 on the link, on the condition whereby I see that if the condition is verified to be true, if the statement is true, then we expect form 2 to be pop up on the screen. Else, if the condition is wrong, then we expect the, the incorrect combination, which we say that incorrect username or password combination to be pop up on the screen. So, guys, that's how it is. So, let us just try to demonstrate for the last time. So, if I run this program, this is how it will be. So if I, I put password, if that means the username, if that's the username and I put a password something else, trust me to say incorrect username or password combination. But if I come on here and I remove that and I put the correct password which is OSP12, uh, the second form which is the second our user form, it will pop up on the screen. So guys, that's how it is. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe, like the video and share it. Thank you guys. Hope again next time.